Hi guys, this is Niklas from Soundforce and in this short video I want to show you how to use the SFC Mini with your computer and plugins and with your iPad and the iMini app. I'm showing here the yellow color but it's available in six different colors and also a wooden version. So let's start by plugging our MIDI controller with just one USB cable at the back. This device is USB powered. And directly you will see in Ableton Live the controller is showing up in the MIDI devices. Plug it again, it's gone. We plug it again, it's back. On my website, when the product is going to be shipped out, you will find two files. One for the Arturia Minivi, an XML file, that you need to copy to the library Arturia Mini V control folder. Paste it there. Now when I uh, instance a plugin on a track and I go to MIDI Learn menu, I select the Arturia SFC Mini, turn it on, and it's working. Everything's already mapped correctly and you're good to go. The cool thing about the SFC Mini is this user knob as well as this shift knob. And I mapped at the moment this user knob to the speed of the arpeggiator and the shift user to the rate of the LFO. Also, a nice shift glide time controlling the dry wet amount of the delay. This shift knob allows you to double every control you have on the control. Very cool. You get in total up to 90 different mini messages. For the native instrument Monarch, it's a very similar way to do it. You copy paste the Monarch SFC Mini Ensemble and you copy it to the user shared Monarch folder. Tap your password. Now, when I set up Reactor on the track, I see my Monarch folder, the Monarch SFC Mini Ensemble that we just copied. Opening that, turning a couple of knobs, and everything is working already. You're good to go. For the Mini Monster plugin, it's a little bit different the Mini Monster from GeForce because the programmer actually uh, hard coded the MIDI map into the controller. And this is where this cool little app is coming into play. I will provide you a configuration file you will be able to load with this app and send to the memory of the controller in order to change on MIDI map of the MIDI controller to match the MIDI map of the MIDI Monster plugin. This cool app allows you actually to customize any MIDI CC number of all the controls of the controller. For instance, if you want to change a MIDI cut up to 127, you can do that. Send that CC value to the memory of the controller. You can save also your different configurations, unload existing configuration, and also reset to the factory value. I'm now going to show you how to use the SFC Mini with your iPad and the iMini app. I'm using a camera adapter and a USB hub to connect both my MIDI keyboard and the SFC Mini to my iPad. And as soon as I insert the connector into the iPad, you can see both the SFC Mini and the MIDI controller are connected. To map the controller to the app for the first time, just click MIDI Learn. Touch a controller on the screen, touch the knob on the controller, and do this for every control in the interface. And when you're done, click done, and you're good to go. If I shut down the app and reopen it, everything is still correctly mapped.